In today's video, we're going to be looking at the standing moor. It's one of the three main mooring or anchoring techniques, along with the running moor and the open moor. The standing moor and the running moor result in pretty much the exact same configuration. They're just two different ways of accomplishing the same thing. The standing moor, however, will be the mooring of necessity if the use of your vessel's engines is limited for whatever reason. It's used, for example, in a tidal area where you need to keep your vessel pretty tight to a single spot. Maybe you're in a tidal river or a deep water pool or something like that. So how do you do a standing moor? Well, the first thing is we need to scope out the surroundings. So we're in a river motoring up. Today we're going to use it out of necessity, say our engines just cut out completely. The main tide is in this direction, so right ahead of us, and the wind is coming from this direction. We need to identify our anchoring position, so in our case that's kind of going to be dictated by where we stop rather than choosing a good place, but we're going to do our best. You're going to run on past that anchoring position, stemming the tide the whole time until you come to a complete stop. So for us, we're just letting the tide do all that work. As soon as we start getting pushed astern, we're going to drop our leeward anchor, and that's in reference to the weather, so the wind in our case. As we move astern, we're going to use that one anchor to control the sternway so that we don't go too fast, but we're going to let the tide push us back past our final position until we've got approximately twice the final scope of the cable. At that point, we'll use the anchor to stop our sternway. As you just start drifting ahead, you want to drop your other anchor, so the windward anchor. As you're moving ahead, of course the cable's not going to bunch up, so it's going to start laying out on the seabed. You want to then heave on that first anchor, so you keep moving ahead, back towards the final anchoring position. As you're moving forwards, of course, you just pay out cable on the windward anchor until you get to your anchoring position, at which point you take up the weight on the windward anchor, stop yourself in position. You're then just where you need to be, and you can make both your anchors fast. In theory, you'll sit to the riding cable with the tide, until the tide eases, at which point you'll turn and briefly sit to the weather, so your cable shouldn't cross. Then as the tide turns, the cable that was your sleeping cable will become your riding cable, and that one's going to take up all the weight. To get away from a standing moor, it's relatively simple. You just pay out the riding cable, whichever one it happens to be at that time, while recovering your sleeping cable. As soon as you're over the top of the anchor, you can recover that one completely. And now you're just sat on a single anchor. You can then retrieve that as you would any other anchoring situation until you can motor away from the mooring. That all sounds quite simple. So is there anything else to watch out for? Well, mainly just make sure you drop your leeward anchor first so that when you turn at the change of tide, your cables don't cross. The other thing to watch is for the expected power of each tide. Make sure you have enough cable to account for that. Normally the tide is going to be the same on the flood and on the ebb, but sometimes it might be a bit different. If you're in an area where the flood is going to be particularly strong, obviously your cables might not be the same length. Just account for that when you're planning out your anchoring positions. So that was the standing moor. You can remember it by the fact that you start the manoeuvre with your vessel standing in the water, compared to the running moor, where you drop the first anchor as you run past. Hopefully that's made it all a little easier to understand. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. I try to post weekly, but can't guarantee anything, so having notifications enabled will mean you're always the first to know whenever I post new content. If you have any other videos you want me to make, leave me a comment. I try to read them all, but I do have a lot between all my channels. To be certain I see it, why not consider joining the casual navigation community, where you can message me directly and get access to a load of bonus content. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. Until next time, thank you for watching, and goodbye.